Hello everyone. Today, I want to give you all a walkthrough on how to set up your Bose VB family device to work in conjunction with Zoom Rooms. Zoom Rooms is a software-based conferencing system that works with dedicated hardware, such as our Bose VB1 device, in order to deliver cohesive and easy to deploy meetings in conference spaces. Let's see how to get these devices set up and working with each other. A UC or Unified Communications based room is a self-contained conferencing system that consists of a compute unit, a control device, a display, and a USB peripheral to enhance the audio and video experience of the conferencing space. Together, these parts create an easy to use system that is compatible with meeting schedules and does not require any participant devices to operate. Once a system like this is set up and operational, you will be able to schedule a meeting or simply start a meeting by entering the conference space, selecting a contact or a scheduled meeting, and starting the call. Audio and video will be taken care of by the Bose video bar device and in-room display, while other meeting functions can be easily accessed via the control interface. This method of conferencing simplifies the meeting experience and does away with the complications that may be experienced in bringing your own device scenarios. Before you continue your UC room setup, it's important to follow the quick start guide included in your VB device. The two most important steps are uploading the firmware and making sure to connect your VB device to a network so that way you can manage the device remotely using the Bose Work Management app. Now that you have your VB device configured, we can begin the setup process. For this example, we'll be using a Bose VB1 conferencing device, an Intel Nook mini PC, a Logitech TAP meeting room touch controller, as well as the power connections for each of these devices, as well as a USB cable, an HDMI cable, and a network connection via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Begin by mounting your PC device in the desired location in the room. Many of these devices will come with dedicated mounting hardware to help you with your installation. Next, mount your VB device in the desired location in the room and ensure that you have proper coverage of your space. Additionally, you can refer to our Bose VB Family Mounting Guide, which can be found in our Global EDU website, where you will see the differences between mounting your device via a wall, table, or vase mounts, as well as best practices for using Bose products. Now that the devices are mounted, we can begin to set up our connections. Let's start by connecting the touchscreen display to the compute device using our USB cable. From there, we'll connect the compute device to our VB1 using a USB-C connection. And at this point, we can now plug in our compute device to the network using an ethernet cable to establish a connection to Zoom Rooms. Additionally, from here, we can also connect our mini PC to an external monitor or TV via an HDMI cable. And finally, we will connect each of our devices to the respective power supply cables from a wall outlet. Now with each of our devices connected, we can power them on and begin our setup process. Start by logging on to your Zoom Rooms account on the touchscreen display to access your profile. Once you are logged in, you will navigate to the settings menu, where there you will select the devices you wish to use for your meetings. For our example, we'll be sure to select the Bose VB1 for our audio and camera devices. And now that we're logged in and have our devices configured, we're ready to start our meetings. It's a good idea to give a test call at this point and make sure everything is working together properly. I hope this video helps in getting you and your Bose VB family devices set up with Zoom Rooms. And for more lessons and content like this, please be sure to visit our global EDU website at proedu.bose.com. Thanks for watching.